Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Rick's Thoughts. Today we're going to be discussing time, more exactly the misconception of time. You ever notice people always say that they don't have enough time to do a certain thing, especially trying to learn something new. For example, investing. Investing is very important for our financial future, but for some reason, people don't think that they need to learn or they don't have the time to learn something new. So they just brush it off and they just say, you know what, I don't have enough time to learn that stuff, so I'll just hire someone to do it for me. Why is this important? So if you really think about it, right, so you're going to hire somebody, a financial advisor. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link up here somewhere. There's a lot of people out there, financial advisors, that are only there for themselves. In other words, they only want to line their pockets. Now, of course, um, we all want to take care of ourselves, right? But you're paying them to do the work for you, to do the legwork for you, to invest for you so that you can make money, right? So you can grow your your whatever money you have, you want it to grow. Because if we invest our money and we write it out 20, 30, 40 years, that small little nest egg can grow significantly. It can grow 10 times, 20 times the original amount, especially if you continuously put in money into it and allow it to grow. Uh, stock market, what, around 8 10% on average. I mean, I have a better one that I like to do, and that is called tax liens, where I'm doing around 18%, or I just get real estate and I continuously double, triple, or even quadruple my money. But that's for another video. So for now, what I want you to think about is, is it really good to pass up on learning what to do just because you don't have the time because it, you're complaining that you do not have enough time to learn something because you have a job. Well, if I was to be a fly and just follow you around or just, just be someone that's there, like staying invisible behind your back, I bet I could find 15, 30 minutes, an hour, maybe in a couple hours that you waste, like scrolling on your phone, looking at all these social media things or even... Um, watching TV, which is something I'm guilty of. I That's actually an, what I call an income-reducing machine, right? So what can you do? So maybe you should learn to cut back on some of these things. So I want you to go look at your schedule. When you get off of work, what are you doing from the time you get off work? Because I know we have to work. We have to earn an income right now. Because if not, you're going to starve. You won't have money to invest and all that other good stuff, right? You can Look at stuff, maybe you're hanging around with your friends or you're talking stories with, with some of your buddies or your coworkers for an hour. Maybe you can learn to cut back on that. You don't have to cut back all the way. Maybe once or twice a week, you're going to cut back and do something with that time. So one of the things you can do is pick up a book, something that can help you with your financial future. Now, did you know that on average, a, a normal person can read one to two books a year? And that's not no financial book on top of that. A normal CEO reads about a book a week. So they put out about approximately 50 books a year. Now that's a big difference from one to two books a year to around 50. Even if they only read 40 books in one year, that's still, that's mind boggling on how much books they read. And they're CEOs, they're making a lot of money. So why are they reading? Why do they continue to read when they're already doing so good, right? So maybe something you want to look at. Or another thing you can do is actually take up some kind of class, maybe investing in real estate, maybe um, in stocks and bonds and mutual. Although I love tax liens and tax deeds, and it's something that I'm actually currently working on. I'm trying to put something together so I can share that with you. But you can pick up anything. And I just want you to learn. Just read and take some classes if you can. Maybe just get the free ones, and if you're interested, maybe you can move up and, and paying those tuitions or whatever they charge. But at least something. I've done so many different um, online classes, even some are face to face, and that way I don't I don't hire I don't pay no financial advisor to invest for me. I mean, why should I? I don't want to pay them. Because why? You gotta pay them no matter what. And to me is I don't I don't like that. Why should I pay somebody when I know exactly what I want? I know exactly what I want to do, and I follow that. Now, to some people, they don't want to do that because they have their own expertise, and that's fine. If you're a millionaire, I mean, you, you just have like $100,000, $200,000 to invest, 
you can afford a financial advisor that way. But if you're starting off with very limited capital, wouldn't you want to bootstrap and try to learn these things on your own? And guess what? A lot of the people that do this on their own, they do really well. They start off with very little. They invest and invest and invest. They, they study, they read books. Oh, by the way, another thing too. Instead of reading books, you can also do audiobooks. So you can do an audiobook and you can just put it on your phone and then you can listen to it through your Bluetooth or you can even put it on your car. So if you're driving from home to work and from work back to home, if you don't have any time except for that, instead of listening to those music, I know that some of them, some of you will say like, oh, that's to help me relax or unwind. Well, that's fine. But what if you can turn that, that few minutes of drive time, whether it's 15 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, whatever your drive time is, why not turn that into something useful, like learning something? And guess what? If you do that, you're going to be financially independent in the future and you're, you're setting yourself up for your financial freedom. So something to think about, yeah? Anyway. So because time is very scarce and it's very important for us because you cannot store time, I want you to start looking at everything and saying, is this helping me move forward? Is this helping me financially become independent? If not, maybe you should start looking at that and say, okay, I got to do something better than just watching TV or looking at my feed on social media. Okay, so don't forget now, check out my videos, one of my videos up here and here. Yeah. Also, I'd like to say mahalo for watching this video and remember to always strive for financial independence. And until the next time, aloha.